All right, we're looking at graphing systems of inequalities here, and mainly uh, the only difference between this and previous problems is that, well, now we're graphing two different uh, equations at once. So uh, to do this, we just need to graph one inequality first. So this first one begins at negative 7, and they have it going up 3 to the right one, or down 3 to the left one. We have a dashed line, and we said that we'd be shading above that because we have a greater than sign. So I'd be shading this whole portion. Well now I can look at the second half, the uh, y equals 1 4th x plus 1, so there's 1, we're going up 1 over 4, up 1 over 4, right there, or down 1 to the left 4, and this is a solid line, and I'd be shading this one below my red line. So because of that, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to have a section that should be overlapped. So your final answer, uh, to make this line a little bit thicker here, your final answer would be to look at where are we shading overlap. Well, that's this portion right here. That's what our shaded region is for the final. So the part that's now in black is what you would need to show to make sure it's all there for your final answer. Uh, number two works very similarly. First one says y is less than or equal to 5. I'm going to look at this one a little bit differently just to show you another way to do it. Uh, I'm going to hold my shading for now. I know I'm going to shade below, but I'm going to kind of hang on to that for a minute. And now when I shade this one beginning at negative 3 and going down 4 to the right one or up 4 to the left one, uh, this is a dashed line here. And the way that I uh, can do it this way is, uh, well, I need to be shading below the horizontal line, yet above above that second line, the above the dash line. So the part that's below the solid but above the dash would be this section over here. So that might be a, a way that you prefer uh, whether you like to shade and look for overlap or whether you want to do both at the end. Now this third one here is tricky just because we don't have yet y by itself. We just need to get y by itself. We've done that plenty of times. So we have y would be uh, greater than 2x, negative 2x, plus 6, and we subtract 2x uh, from both sides to do that. So when we do that and graph it, we started at positive 6, down 2 and do the right one, or up 2 and do the right one. Uh, there we go. And it is a dashed line. And we know we're going to be shading above it eventually. Uh, well, let's graph the yellow one first. So this guy is beginning at negative 3 and going with a slope of negative 2. So there's your couple of points uh, there, and we're going to have a dashed line. And what you should notice here is we have the same slope. We should have parallel lines. We were shading above this red graph, yet below this blue graph. So where do we have overlap? We don't have any overlap. It's not happening. This is no solution, because no matter what we type in, no matter what we plug in for x and y, we will never get a value that works for both equations, because we have no part of that graph that is overlapping the shading. All right, so uh, here's what we will see most often, I think, with a uh, keystone type question. They'll not even make you graph it. <laughs> they, they'll give you graphs. You have to analyze which ones are correct and which ones are not. So here are the four graphs that we're going to look, like, look at, and I'm going to claim that we usually should be able to get rid of a couple of answers immediately. And in this case, the ones we're going to get rid of are C and D. Reason being, in our original problem, look at the signs we had. Greater than, greater than. No solid lines whatsoever. So C and D with solid lines are going to be out of the picture. A and B still have dashed lines and dashed lines only. That means that they are going to be our only possible answers. Now here's where they want you to screw up. They want you to look and say that, hey, the original problem, they were again both greater than. So I should be shading above both lines. So that means that you would probably be thinking you're going to be going uh, here with letter A because you're shading above both dashed lines. That is actually not going to be correct because when you look here at uh, the second equation, uh, when you add 5x over and then divide by uh, negative 2 is what you'll have to do because you have a 5x plus 10. Uh, when you divide both sides by 2, well guess what? you're going to be getting something that's not quite correct there because you're dividing that by a positive 2 by a negative 2, which means that your sign is going to flip-flop. So when you flip that sign, you're not going to be shading above anymore. You're going to be shading below. So that's why letter B is your answer because I'm shading above 
the line here, uh, the dashed line here that is going uh, starting at 2, but I'm shading below the other line which began at negative 5. So that's how you can kind of determine whether you're shading above, below, versus solid and dashed. Those are the uh, things to do without even having to graph it that can allow you to solve a uh, multiple choice question on these systems of inequalities.